What's going on? Welcome to KA Sports Talk. And if you guys can give me the HKO special, help the king out, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. So here is my reaction to the video, the scorecard. So they had me um on the feature i mean you know you guys are all wondering and i've already set some of the records straight i commented on this video so um let's uh, get into this and let's talk about this video and i'll even talk a little bit about myself but not too much all right so here we go res a bundle so let's let's take a look so here we go it's in tagalog so um but you guys will get the gist of the uh, video so just kind of watch for what it is. All right, here we go. Every Irving Serenz Abando, ankle breaker at pinag-skate ng isa pang kalaban. Pinabilib ni Kabayan ng Koreanong Hinebra fan. An so there I am. Yep, uh, yes, I am a Hinebra, uh, you know, uh, yep, apparently, par partially, uh, yeah, apparently Korean fan, but let's continue. Okay. Yang Red Boosters versus Ulsan Mobis Phoebus, ang former team ni RJ Abariento sa starting here. five si Renz okay, Abando. Mga idol, looking good sa opening frame si Kabayan, playing 8 minutes at nakapagtala ng 2 points, 5 rebounds and 2 assists. Maagang lumamang ang Red Boosters, first assist mula kay Renz. Pinag-skate pa na Renz Abando ang depensa ng kalabang Koreano. Spin moves sabay fadeaway jump shot, hindi na nakapag-contest pa ang pumalit pansamantala kay Omar Spellman habang injured na si Maxwell Duban na paaway sa backup import din ang kalaban 27 to 19 end of first quarter spotted ang isang Hinebra fan sa arena suot-suot ang jersey ni Scotty Thompson okay yep and of course um I did go to the Philippines uh the past month so uh they uh I've actually got the, the jersey the Hinebra jersey for Scotty Thompson so yes I drank the Kool-Aid for Hinebra um and I am uh a fan of Hinebra because of, you know, Scotty Thompson, who is a one-eighth, uh, you know, American. But, you know, he is mostly Filipino if you look at him. And, yes, yeah, so I became a fan. And that's where I met the, with the Hinebra team. So, yep. So let's continue um, watching the video. Second quarter, Renz Abando block and driving layup. Oh. Mga idol, ang visiting team at nagsimula ng magyabang ang naka-number 1 jersey ng kalaban. nag small gesture. Nilabas 4-minute mark si Renz Abando. Hindi na ipinasok pa sa natitirang minuto sa first half si Renz. In control ang Mobis Phoebus. Mga idol, 51-43 lamang sila ng walo. Third quarter, on the run ng Red Boosters, napasobra pa ng talon si Lakay at napakalayo ng binagsakan. Biglang gigil naman si Gage Prim, napasuntok-suntok pa. Tawang-tawa tuloy ang mga announcers. Four-minute mark ng pabilibin na rin sa abando ang mga fans sa kanyang ankle breaker move. Itong bagong import ng Anyang, sinisi pa si Renz sa kanilang miscommunication na nagresulta sa turnover. Ayaw ng palusutin ng kalaban si Kabayan nilabas sa last 2 minutes si Abando. Natapos ang third quarter, naghahabol na ng 10 points ang home team. 67-57, 6.7 rebounds, 2 assists for Renz Abando. Fourth quarter, nag-aala Luka Doncic, rebol si Renz. Kanina, ankle breaker ngayon na... Man, nakapag-create yep, ng space go. sa import ng kalaban. Mintis nga lang mid-range ni Kabayan. Struggle mga idol ang anyang Red Boosters dahil nawala na nga yung mga shooters nila dati. Plus nakakuha ng malakas yeah. na import itong Mobis Fubus na si KB Aluma na naglalaro off the bench. Last 8 minutes, umabot na ng double figures ang hinahabol na lamang ng anyang Red Boosters. Buenas mga idol, ang kalaban ang ganda na ng pagkakakontest na rin sa Abando eh, pumapasok pa rin. Halfway mark, laging may sagot mga idol, ang visiting team sa home team kung makakascore. Dahil sa laki ng lamang ng kalaban, hindi na ito nahabol pa ng anyang Red Boosters at natalo sila. So there you go um, with Rez Abando. Uh, and of course, uh, I was uh, featured in this video. Video shout out uh, to the uh, scorecard uh, for putting me on. Uh, just yeah, uh, FYI, yeah, uh, Mobis. Um, you know, uh, 
they are pretty tough because, uh, you know, Gage Prim was taking uh, a lot of the bulk of the game. But uh, we have Kebe Aluma, who uh, played bulk of the minute. So, so that kind of helps uh, Gage Prim him out for Mobis. Now going back on uh, the Reza Bando, you know, it was a tough game because, you know, Amari Spellman is out. He was in the uh, stand. So I saw Amari over there. And of course, you know, uh, Daryl Monroe's picking up the And then uh, last night, uh, Dewan Maxwell said, hey, man, you need to not wear that he never because he was, you know, uh, the few masters. He played in a PBA. So if you guys didn't know about uh, Maxwell. So, yeah, I had a chance to just go to the game last night. Uh, you know, we don't usually uh, during the uh, week, you know, not a lot of people show up. So we were able to uh, sit, um, you know, pretty much courtside, you know, and, you know, sit, you know, in premium pretty much. But, yeah, so I didn't expect, you know, like me wearing the Hinebra jersey. I, I don't know why. I just kind of felt wearing it. Plus, um, you know, uh, if you guys know uh, – the assistant coach for a uh, Mobis who uh, helps Gage Prim, uh, Vernon, Vern coach a uh, Mac, yeah, Vernon Neal. He was former a uh, Hinebra player too, so yeah. So I was just kind of wearing that in honor of him, but I didn't get a chance to talk to him too much. I just went by and said hello, and then just went back to where my seat was. So yeah, so I, I did meet a lot. And by the way, uh, I did get uh, the Reza bundle. I know you can't see it. Uh, let's see, yeah. I can't even see it because of the background, but yeah, here's my Riza bundle. So I uh, got his signature, um, and I plan to uh, return to the Philippines later in the future and, uh, you know, uh, put it up uh, there because right now I already uh, gave left them with one jersey. I'm still waiting for uh, Didi Fonzo to glass it, but the, right now they're building. They're busy with the... Um, you know the election right now with Danny. So yeah, so pretty much uh, right now, yeah, um, I had a chance to go and it was uh, such a great experience. And yep. So and of course uh, I will probably maybe go again uh, this uh, Sunday when um, Reza Bondo plays Daegu, and then I don't know when I'm going to go again. So yeah. So one more time, shout out to the scorecard for putting me on. And yep. And I don't know. It was just one of those shocking things. So, but it was, yeah, great content for uh, the scorecard and, yeah, great content for me. So, yeah. So, I want to thank uh, all of you. Um, so, that does set the record straight. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, as you can see, uh, my American flag background, I am an American if you guys didn't figure that out yet. So, so I am a, a, I am a Korean American expat that lives in South Korea. So, but I'm originally from Los Angeles. But I am covering uh, the KBL right now, and I was there for uh, the World Cup in the summer to cover uh, a lot of the basketball. But, yep, right now, yeah, I'm just covering uh, the KBL as much as I can right now and, yep, doing live streams for sports. All right, everyone, if you uh, enjoyed this uh, content, um, please give me the HKO special help the king out. Hit the like, subscribe and comment on what you think so yep so hope that clears up a lot of the issues there but yep but i was happy to um be there and where did he never the jersey so he never never say die <laughs> so there we go and yep uh we'll keep uh putting out another video so everyone take care and i'll 